Today I'm going to make some red chili infused corn tortillas. So I'm starting with five chile guajillo and five chile New Mexico. I'm going to remove the stems and the seeds. After I remove the stems and seeds, I'm going to transfer them to a pot, cover them with water, bring it up to a quick boil, reduce heat and simmer for 10 minutes. In a bowl, you're going to combine two and one third cup of masarina, corn flour, and one teaspoon of salt. Uh, just mix that lightly and let it hang out for a little while. After the chiles simmered at medium low heat, I'm going to take them off the heat and let them hang out for a while. Let them cool before I remove them and blend them. After they soaked in the water for 10 minutes off the heat, I placed all the ingredients in the blender. I added a teaspoon of salt and a cup of the cooking water. I'm going to blend this and then strain it. After I just mix that to combine uh, the water and the chili sauce, I'm going to gradually add it into the masarina and salt mix. Mix a little bit at a time. After I add all of the liquid that was mixed with the chili sauce, I just mixed it with the spatula a little bit, but then I'm going to get my hands in there and mix up the masa and see if it needs any more water. There's the masa after I worked it. Um, it's not sticking to my hands anymore and it doesn't feel too dry. I'm going to cover it and let it rest for about 20 minutes. You can let the masa rest like this covered in plastic wrap and then form your uh, masa balls but I think I'm going to form the masa balls and I actually am going to place them in a storage bag and let them hang out for 10 minutes or so. And that's about the size of the masa ball. I just kind of flatten it slightly. I would say it's probably a quarter cup, more or less. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. So in the end, I ended up with about 21 uh, masa balls for tortillas. Um, they may just slightly vary in size, but uh, pretty much they're about the same. So I'm going to let them hang out for another 10 minutes. After the uh, masa balls sit in the plastic, they will um, become moist. So what I do is I just kind of rework it and shape it back in to the masa ball before I press it. My tortilla press of choice, again, is the wooden press. I just had better luck uh, pressing them out a little bit thinner and a little bit more evenly than my metal press, but maybe someday I'll get a good metal press. You will end up having about a cup left over of the strained chili sauce. Uh, you can freeze it, um, it freezes really well, or you can make more tortillas or make an enchilada sauce. If your tortilla doesn't blow up, you could um, use the spatula and press gently on the sides to manipulate it a little bit. It'll create air in the middle. This one's blowing up anyway, but you could do that. Looking good. I'm not sure I'm getting hungry. <laughs>
<laughs> Just a few more to go, and we'll be done. <laughs>